There's a gym, common areas, and private bedrooms. Ooh, but this nice. place, just outside Halda, Norway, is a prison. Oh There's my no barbed wire, goodness. Lots of greenery. <laughs> Hello, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel with me again. Okay, I hope you are doing well, very living in a very good life and um, in a good health also. And today, um, first of all, I would like to thank for those who are really do support by subscribing my channel. For those who are still not subscribing, please do so and show some support to me and leave some comment. I will do reply soon. And today I'm going to react for one uh, one more video from the channel of VOX. Please do support also this channel to give them more motivation to make us a very great video more and more. <laughs> okay, today we're going to see how Norway designed a more human prison. Hmm, something great to hear. Okay, okay. Not further ado, let's go and see how the Norwegian do this. Are you ready, guys? Let's go. These photos look like they're from a hotel or yeah. a fancy college dorm room. There's a gym, common areas, and private bedrooms. Ooh, but this nice. place, just outside Halda, Norway, is a prison. Oh There's my no barbed wire, goodness! Lots of greenery and striking contemporary art. Inmates even have pretty great it's views of their cell windows. It's all part of a plan to make prisons more humane through design. More humane, okay. They design the prison more humane. The underlying philosophy behind humane prison design argues that the look and feel of a prison shouldn't be a punishment. The sentence is taking away the freedom. Everyday life shouldn't be a, a sentence. And the first thing designers focus on is the basic architecture of prison buildings. In most prison architecture, facilities are consolidated into one contiguous building. A courtyard design uses a rectangular building around a central outdoor space. In a telephone pole design, rows of buildings are stacked like a ladder. And radial designs have corridors that branch out from a central hub, like spokes on a wheel. While these layouts are good for moving lots of inmates around efficiently, they restrict prisoners to identical indoor hallways day after day. And tight quarters can unintentionally create tension and conflict. So, humane prisons are often laid out in a campus design, where facilities are split between separate buildings with a surrounding perimeter wall. At Norway's Halden Prison, housing is located here, while education and visitation spaces are here, in separate buildings. This means most inmates have to start their day with a commute, mimicking life in the outside world and providing easy access to outdoor physical activity. And unlike other layouts, which have windows that look out onto the prison itself, campus design gives inmates a rich view of their surrounding environment. This access to nature also helps inmates track the passage of time. The inmates felt that they were in a diving bell. They were um, disconnected with time and with space. Yeah. Spending time outside and seeing days and seasons pass through windows helps reduce this problem. Plus, the grounds of humane prisons are usually landscaped carefully. At Halden, tall birch and pine trees dwarf the buildings and obscure the perimeter wall, lending what designers call an anti-authoritarian feel to the campus. Inmates are never made to feel intimidated by the architecture itself. Building materials influence humane design too. In other prisons, interiors are made from hard materials like concrete, linoleum, and steel. Materials like this block light, are visually unappealing, and constantly reflect noise. This is in prisons a like normal Halden, prison. you'll see glass to let in natural light, and materials like cork and wood to muffle noise. Mm. But humane prison design isn't just about architecture and materials. It's also about what happens inside the walls. Halden's design affects the way correctional officers and inmates interact. Because housing is broken up into small communities with a shared kitchen and communal space, correctional officers can easily monitor inmates through regular face-to-face -face contact instead of observing large groups of people from a distance. And the guards' rooms are intentionally designed too small to incentivize them to move out into the inmates' common area. And this, that the guards are together with the, the inmates is a very important security system. Campus layouts help that relationship flourish. A study of architecture in Dutch correctional facilities found that campus design ranked highest in inmate staff relationships. And US prison studies from the late 90s found that this style of direct contact resulted in fewer violent or security related incidents. 
Designing these humane prisons costs money, which is why yeah. most of the groundbreaking work is happening in Western Europe and Scandinavia, where smaller prison populations and more robust social support systems allow for more flexible experimentation. And because US prisons often prize cost saving over design, it's still uncommon to see them here. But places like Halden are setting a new precedent for what the prison of the future could look like. It's so important to have a human uh, behavior towards the people so they are not so angry, but give them uh, uh, human dignity. It might feel counterintuitive to create pleasant, well-designed spaces like this for people who have committed crimes. But under a design philosophy like this, being imprisoned is the punishment. The architecture doesn't have to be. First of my impression is how come this prisons look more better than our own bedroom? <laughs> For me, uh, it's a technology and this is one of the architectures that design itself to make uh, the prisons more better like uh, before prisons more better like like previous prison we know how how the prisons looks like and this definitely um out of my mind you know out of my mind i'm not thinking of before, before i watched this video i didn't know that this is the prison and then after i watched this it's super but one thing that i was thinking is um what if this kind of facilities a great facilities um more better than our bedroom making um people want to do more crime don't you think so because it, i don't mind to, to go in prison because the prison is good place <laughs> having a great life having a great food and having a very very um nice bedroom like better than my bedroom itself and this uh, maybe they have some research that must do before they, they make every uh, uh, prison more humane and um, there must be some pro and contras if, if we do design how Norway designed the prison and uh, I think um, for humanity for a psychology behavior and everything i think there must be a reason why they came out with this kind of design and this kind of ideas to ensure that all the prisoners or all the criminals um, learn something and get themselves better and, and when the time is over and going back to their family they can become a very great citizen back to the community itself i think there must be something great behind this uh, idea itself and for something that uh, something that can give a very great impact why don't uh, why don't we try and you know but but this kind of prison is um it costs a lot of money and uh, there's something that we have to think uh before we, we you proceed to all the prisons of the world by 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 using this kind of design so it's my my personal opinion and i know that we um have every human have their own um, right and uh, we hope that um, we can make all the prisoners we can build all the prisoners back we bringing back the prisoners back to the community and they become a great person after all but uh, anyway i do really like this kind of fancy fancy bedroom fancy it looks so fancy looks so so great so modern but um, the security because the, the, we didn't we know that prison is making by steel and so on but this one more like glass using the glass something like not so I'm uh, my 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 concern is the security of the prison itself that's it and that is my opinion how about you <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at the hotel, you know, like some uh, cabin, but at the end I was like, oh, it's a prison. <laughs> okay, guys, and uh, I think that's it for today, and I hope to hear from you soon. Do not forget to leave some comment, and I will reply it soon. And thank you again for watching with me, and feel um, amazing with me too, for this kind of no redesign for prison. And I hope to see you again my, on my next video. Till then, bye-bye everyone.